Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we're here on Lutetia where we've been doing the fruit blocks but up until now it's been a rather small scale because we've just been trying to set up our city and the fruits didn't really look all that much like fruits. So in this part we're going to be fixing up some of the fruit blocks to make them more fruit-like, building up our population and city and holding off a bunch of invasions as we work up to higher level housing and trying to win the mission. Alright, let's go ahead and get things started. Okay, here we are back in Caesar 3. Now, the first thing I want to do is head on over. Let's slow the game down. I'm going to head on over to this banana block here, and I'm going to fix it. This does not look like a banana, and I know how to fix it. What, what need, There needs to be a peel. There's no peel. And also, the scale is just way too small. So, I'm going to go ahead and clear off some of this space here. And without destroying any of the houses, I'm going to try redraw this banana. Make it a little bit bigger and uh, just make things a bit more <laughs> banana-like. So we're gonna do this, do that, do that. So that's gonna be the top of the banana there. And we're gonna go like that. And it's gonna be like that. And we're gonna have a peel come down like this. Right? Now this is gonna look a lot more banana-like. And we can also, yeah. We can also curve that a bit more. Watch this, watch this. This is gonna look so much better. Uh, and we also can... Yeah, it should, should end just about here, really. And then we can have the little nub on the end. And we will notch that in. Now, it looks a little fat and isometric, but if you look at the map, it actually looks more like a banana now. Maybe I, I should extend it just a tiny bit more. Just like by one. Right? So I can do that. There we go. That's, that's more of a banana, isn't it? <laughs> it just needed the... the line going through the middle. Now that's of course gonna throw things off. Now I did lose a small temple to Venus there, which we will replace. Uh, let's just go ahead and put it here. That should be fine. We're gonna hook up that road, and now because it's not an efficient design, we're gonna need a few engineers posts, I think. Let's have one there. Let's have three engineers posts. You know what? Let's go four engineers posts. Make sure nothing collapses at all. Right? Looks good? Looks good. There we go. There we go. That's a banana block. And also, Kenny64, Kenny64 on Discord started drawing all sorts of crazy fruit blocks and he did one which was very impressive and it's more of an apple block than I ever expected. He, it, he did an apple cut in half, so I'm not sure if you can see that. <laughs> it doesn't really show but because uh, the grass is green, but uh, I'm going to try replicate this. I'm going to try replicate this. And uh, I probably can't replace that quite yet, but I can do like a nice looking apple block. Maybe somewhere over here, yeah? So I can draw it and I'm gonna just try do exactly what he did. So what he did was he started with like a couple leaves, which he drew something along like the lines like this. Now it doesn't have to be exactly exactly, but uh, we'll do that. And then he had like that coming down like that and then he had another leaf coming up this way where it even had a bit of a middle and then we can draw it like that like that right there's another leaf looking good looking good and then the stem comes down here and then we have the top of the apple, which then just sort of, let me try get this as, I'm, I'm not going to get this symmetrical, I always mess this up. It goes over here, down to here, over to here, down to there, and I think I might need to shift it all over to the right a bit. So I'm going to speed the game up, we're going to need more more money to do this, but you can see the start of the apple. There's gonna be the apple right here. I'm gonna shift it all over a little bit because this water's kind of in the way, but it's gonna look amazing. 
Kenny64, we're gonna be doing that. Let's speed up the game and let's make sure we don't actually die to the following invasions. <laughs> That's gonna be important, right? So let's speed up the game. Selt, don't worry about that. We're actually selling tons of stuff. I probably should get some uh, more weapons going, by the way. Let's go into our industries here. Workshop weapons. Yeah, let's get one more. Let's place it there. Let's get one more weapons workshop. It's December now. How are our sales? Uh, max pottery, not really max iron. We're not really selling many weapons at all, but max furniture, right? It's because we are all the weapons are going into soldiers right now. So let's try up our weapons production. There we go. At least we're selling some of that iron. That should be good. Well, one more. <laughs> we're going to be in and out of that for a while. We're going to be in and out of that for a while. Uh, for this, how much space do I need? Probably, oh, I just need to be slightly pushed over. Just need, need to be slightly pushed over, like a, by a few tiles, like to there, right? Just like that. I'm gonna just put this as a marker here. So it's gonna be here instead. Okay, good, good. That'll be perfect. Ah, the, the half apple block will look great. And also there's a few things we can do to make things look a bit more like fruits. Like this lemon here. Lemons are sort of knobbly, so let's go ahead and get some small statues and just sort of make it look a bit knobbly on the map. So you can see there, it's all like dotted and stuff. <laughs> ah, that, that's looking a bit more lemon-ish. Or lemon-esque, rather. Look at that. This uh, watermelon, or this slice of ambiguous fruit, we can also make it look like a watermelon if we just fill the middle with houses. So if we have, like, houses sort of filling up the middle, we could do with the extra population as well. Right, just sort of... I don't know how much I could get this going. Like that. That should be okay. So there, it's got like a filling, and then we can have services go around this side, so it looks like the, the skin of the melon. That's gonna look good, that's gonna look good. Uh, if I'm gonna replicate Kenny64's design, I should copy his banana block. He did draw a banana with, which was sort of like this, but it had sunglasses. And that's a bit extreme, <laughs> but it was very impressive. You can check it out on discord.gg slash uh, he, He's sharing some crazy block designs. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I am going to have to... Uh, like, there will be some defenses going along here. There we go, money's coming in, looking good. There's gonna be some defenses along here. Oh, look, there, there's all the money. Let's slow the game down. And I'm gonna finish drawing this apple block. Let me get my reference out. Let's see. So it goes up a bit like that. So it's gonna have this leaf there, and this up like this. Like that. Like that. It doesn't have to be exact, but there we go. That looks like a leaf. And then this comes down by like this much to there. And then, yeah, he didn't make it exactly symmetrical either. I mean, th these are organic things, so it shouldn't be too much of a... Like, it, it shouldn't be exactly straight or symmetrical. Right? Notch up like that. There we go. This is gonna come down like that. This is gonna go over like that. Up a bit. Up a bit. Over a bit. Like that. So this is the top of the apple. Let's shorten it a bit, actually. It's going a bit too far out. Uh, then like this. Like that. Like this. And then we have like an outer layer here. This is coming down like that. And this is coming down like this. 
Oh, that's still really close to, to the water, isn't it? I'm gonna have to get rid of these trees. Let's see if I can make it fit. So this is gonna go out like that, down like this. So it's pretty much like that. Right? Looks... What's wrong here? Oh, that's supposed to be there. Uh, this goes like that. Yeah, that goes around like that. Then this is gonna have... The center. Which comes down like that. Then it opens up. This is actually a very complicated design. Like that. I'm just gonna do like that. And then it comes back in. And it hooks up to the middle. And again, it's not... He doesn't do it symmetrically, so I'm gonna do something along the lines like this, and then it comes up like that. And it goes through the middle. Up to somewhere around there. We can actually make this look a bit more... Like that, yeah. There we go. And then he even did, like, little seeds in the middle here. <laughs> Seeds in the middle of the apple looks very cool. There we go, there we go. And we're gonna try... Actually, that should be notched a bit like that. Right? And then this starts coming down like that. Just through all of this. So let's clear off some of these trees. And then it sort of just wraps around like this. Down to... There. Yep, that's the right side of the apple. This is gonna be the left side of the apple. So the apple's slightly dented, but that's okay. Apples aren't always symmetrical. This is gonna come down... Not like that, but roughly like that. And hook up to here. Oh, that's actually a bit too low. Maybe if I shorten it like that, it'll actually fit a bit better. There we go. What was this? All oh, right, they do have sort of like a, a middle row coming through here. But actually, I think for functionality's sake, I'm going to modify the design and keep this a little bit cleaner. There we go. This does look a little lopsided. I think this has to come over just a bit. Since I've modified the design, that looks a little too in. There we go, there we go. It's actually looking quite, quite okay. Uh, maybe like that. Yeah. And there we go, an apple cut in half. Thank you, Kenny64, for that design. We're going to be using that. <laughs> ah, what do you think? What do you think? We will make this work as a functioning block design. You know, a few, a few tweaks here and there will actually make it perfectly functional. Like we make a bit of a more of a gap there. And yeah. There we go. <laughs> An apple cut in half. I said I'm going to be doing... Uh, was that uh, fruit blocks? And that, that, you have to admit, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, what is incredible? Uh, Narub says, what is incredible is that he can make it work, and then I try the best of designs and I still manage to suck at it. Yeah, you gotta know all the secrets to this game, right? You gotta know all the little secrets. Like, you have to know that with this, um, you're gonna have problems. Like, if you wanna make this work, for example, the first thing you do is put two by two houses at all of the intersections. The intersections are going to be the most important part of where there are houses, right? So if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to make this work, you have to have these houses spread out at every intersection. 
because whenever uh, walkers search for employees, you're gonna have to make sure they pass by a house, and they're gonna go up to intersections if nothing else. So we're gonna have to have a house there, have a house there, have a house there, have a house there, and have a house there. So you see all the major intersections are now covered, right? And also these long roads have some houses on it as well. And then if I want to get that to work properly to make sure nothing falls down, we have to spam the service buildings. So one thing you have to remember is when the service walkers walk out, they can walk in any direction. But when they go back home, they will go back to where you place the building. So for example, if I place this right here, no matter which way it walks out, it will come back to this road. So that's important to know. So we're going to go ahead and spam a lot of these because this is a really inefficient block design. So we got to make sure nothing actually collapses. Right? I mean, we, we probably can't have too many of these. <laughs> um, so yeah, let, let's just make sure. Well, well, we'll leave it at that for now and then we'll see if that works. And you also notice I start by placing these near the houses so they'll immediately have worker access. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to need a couple more, but we'll, we'll get that block going, yeah? Meanwhile, since we do have money, let's go ahead and wall this up. And get some houses there. Not that many. Uh, we probably should get room for a gate as well. Uh, gate house. Okay. Uh, we should fit in gatehouses everywhere, basically, like there. Because invaders are on the way, so we have to prep for them. And we're gonna need a gap here as well. Yep, okay. And we can double up the wall. Oh, there's a tree there. That. Let's. There we go. Two invasions are on the way. This is a military map. We have to not forget that. <laughs> Couple of houses. Engineer's post. Couple of houses. Engineer's post. Okay, we are getting a decent military up, uh, which at the cost of our weapons exports, but at least they are. Uh, academy trained. What is our... We're not taxing anyone, but we're not feeding anyone either, so that's fine. There we go. I think we can speed up the game now as we wait for people to move in, right? I need to play to place a reservoir at the center of the apple block. Yeah, I gotta figure that out. <laughs> hmm. I mean, one reservoir won't cover this whole apple block, I think. Let's, uh... Oh. Mercury's upset. I didn't realize the gods were upset. Why is Mercury... Oh, did I destroy a Mercury temple and forget to rebuild it? That's, uh... That's not so good, but I guess, uh... <laughs> uh, didn't realize that. I guess you're gonna just... Uh, how do I want to place this? This is going to be a core, I guess. I don't know. We'll make this work as best as we can. Um, let's just put a Mercury Temple right there. There we go. Don't want to upset Mercury. I think he took away my pottery? Uh, yeah, I think he took away pottery. Wheat's still going up there, so that's fine. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, okay. So now, if I wanted to get towers actually functioning here, it might be a little tricky. Alright, we are still selling plenty of furniture. One reservoir covers all, it has 11 tile range. Is this 11? This is... Actually, maybe you're right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, as long as houses aren't on the outside, it should actually work. Anyway, here we go. 
the half apple block going to be populated here. It is a little dented on the on the map, isn't it? Maybe if I make it symmetrical on this side, it will actually look better. If I like just bring this in a bit. And looking at the map, bring that in a bit. Yeah, there we go. That's looking a bit better. Soften that edge just a bit more. Yeah, there we go. If you look at the map, you can see what I'm looking at. <laughs> and you can see over here, the banana is looking a bit more like a banana. Okay. All these houses moved in as well. Very good. So all of these wolves? Wait a minute. Where did wolves come from? I thought I wiped the wolves out. Okay. Um, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a little unexpected. What was I doing here? Oh, no, I wanted to bring this in. Okay. Wolves are back. I don't know why. But here we'll, we'll just keep an eye on all of uh, these things. If all of these buildings don't collapse, then we should have pretty good coverage of things. We're actually going to need, like, houses here as well, I think. Uh, and if you hear a cat, cat meowing, don't mind her. That's just my cat. <laughs> Callie's out the door. Okay, so they've killed one engineer. Come on, let's, let's go wipe them out. Where did the wolves come from? I thought we... I thought they were dealt with. Alright. Start shooting them from there. Oh, these have all started functioning as well. Um, I don't have enough money to just hook things up quite yet. I will need a gatehouse coming out of here. Uh, let's just do that. Oh, there's a road there as well. We need to put a statue there. We will need a road coming out and hooking up to here. Now that does put us in debt, that's fine. Now let's kill these wolves. Don't mind you. <laughs> and we lost one. Oh, and enemies are at the gate. You return to fort, heal up, and everything. Good. So we wiped out those wolves. Hopefully no more come back. That, that was uh, kind of strange. I thought we did actually deal with that. Lots of unemployment. Uh, but I think... I think we have actually covered this whole apple block. That actually should be pretty secure. We might have even over-secured it just a tiny bit. Now, um... I think I gotta focus on defenses, right? So perhaps if I just fill up the wall here. This is gonna cost a little bit, but when we start selling things, it'll, it'll make up for it. Okay. And we can at least get a couple towers set up here, right? How much are, is a tower? 150? Okay, a thousand in debt, but we will have a couple towers there. I don't know where the invasion is going to come from. Like, even building a road down this way would be difficult. It's just so far. It's just so far. How do I, how do I make this work? Like, that road would hook up to this road, basically. And then I'll have to send the road down this way, all the way down to there. All right, all right. <laughs> Hurricane BR. Okay, I have to read this. Hurricane BR just dropped 
5,000 bits on Twitch. Um, thank you so much. He said, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you, for you, GamerZack. I hope you can keep making good content as you always had. Nowadays are much better and you keep improving it. Thank you so much. I do try my best. I'm from Brazil. Do you think people here in chat actually know Brazil's capital? A. Sao Paulo. B. Rio de Janeiro. C. Recife or D, D Brasilia, or E Fortaleza? Well, the correct answer is it's not Rio de, J de Janeiro. <laughs> That's the one everyone thinks is Brazil's capital, right? Hurricane BR, they always say it's Rio. It is not Rio. That's the correct answer. Not Rio. I think if you, if you just heard pe more people say not Rio, you'd be happier, right? <laughs> Hurricane BR. My governor's think money grows on trees. Hurricane BR more generous than Caesar himself. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, it seems like everyone knows the capital. It is Brasilia. Uh, not Rio is the correct answer still though. Not Rio. Okay. Okay. <laughs> let's uh, let let's continue this. Um, Merry Christmas to everyone, by the way. In case uh, you're watching this on YouTube and it's not near Christmas time, watch it again in December and it'll be more topical. <laughs> uh, let us uh, build this road out this way. This is gonna be a little pricey to do, but we can at least hook this up. We can then just gatehouse this for security and we can actually tower up here as well. There we go. So we're gonna get a couple towers there. Now, to get a road through to this wall without messing things up here, I actually wanna build a bridge, like there, right? But that will cost 600. But we can uh, build up to it in preparation. There's gonna be a road here, and the road was gonna hook up there. So it's gonna just come straight back down here. Like that. And then we will have the low bridge hook up to here, which will cut through the forest and up to here, where we can gatehouse that too. Okay, so once there's a bridge there, we'll have the three walls connected up to our barracks, allowing us to build plenty of defenses, which is the current priority, not really the <laughs> The fruit block, which uh, seems like, yeah, everything's... Oh wait, you can cross there? That's not... You shouldn't be able to cross there. That's not right. Let's try and fix that. I mean, it's probably not that much of a problem. <laughs> Did you see that? He crossed from the seed to the, the outer layer of the apple. Uh, gotta be careful. Uh, we can also soften that as well, while we're at it. There we go, there we go. Ah. Um. You guys talking about the, the amount of money people make on Twitch? Uh, five dollars sub. Twitch basically takes fifty percent, but then uh, th this th it's actually more complicated than just how much twi Twitch takes and how much people give. Um. The U.S. has withholding tax to uh, countries outside of the U.S., so there's that. Um, there's also the conversion rate, which is in my favor, so that's good. Oh, there we go, we've reset our... We've reset our debt anniversary, which allows us to spam up towers. I'm gonna go ahead and to go to four towers each. One, two. One, two. So there's room for the patrols. And we gotta... One, two, there. Gotta extend this just a little bit. Wall. So yeah, it's, it's not as straightforward as, oh, you give a dollar, I get, you know, 50 cents or whatever. It's not, it's not that straightforward. You have to do currency conversion, living costs, all sorts of things, all sorts of things. There we go, four towers on each side. We should be pretty prepped. Our military is in the middle. Uh, getting down here might take a little bit of time. I don't, I don't know if we could make it in time. 
Uh, when is the invasion coming? Enemies at the door was set to August. So they should be here August this year. It should be August this year. And the symbol asks, Zach is a partner? Yes, I am. I am a partner. What about net neutrality and Twitch? As far as I am, nothing's gonna affect me directly unless... Unless, like, the internet in the US slows down Twitch's servers, which... I'm not sure how the lack of net neutrality can, can like, the servers be throttled so people outside the US get slower connection as well. It's, it's hard to, to tell. Well, there really needs to be a gatehouse here as well. There we go. Okay. Tower? Yep, that's not a problem. Tower. Tower? Uh, tower. Tower. We're gonna go up to six towers on each side. Uh, can I actually make it six towers here? I'd have to extend the wall a little bit. Like to there, and then two more, like that. Have the road come out like that. So that I can then put the wall up to here and have a tower right there. Why is my... Kelly, hold on, let, let, me, let me just open the door for my cat, hold on. I'm back. Now, now my cat's in the room. Okay. <laughs> in, in like two minutes, she's gonna want to go out. She's gonna want to go out. Okay, let's, let's resume. Let's resume. <laughs> uh, right, I was extending this as well. Uh, wall. Tower. Well, that needs to expend, extend a bit more. Uh, wall, okay, road, up to there. Yep, cat's in the room. Show us the cat. Well, if she, if she comes up here, I don't know. No, don't jump in there. Kelly? Kelly has... No. Okay. I have some boxes stacked up against the wall. She'll want to jump in then. <laughs> okay. Uh, besides that, the city's looking quite nice. We've got six towers on each side, all functioning quite nicely. This one's not... Oh, right. We haven't built the... Built the, the bridge here. There we go. Build the bridge. Go back into debt. Where's Caesar? Okay. Go away. Uh, now... How do I want to do this? We could start feeding some areas here, but how do I want to actually make it function? 15 vegetables. Okay, okay. We can do that. Farm vegetables right there. Uh, we can do warehouse right here. Just accept vegetables. There we go. We'll get some vegetables for Caesar. Okay. There we go. Now these towers here are functioning. That's great. So we can get things going along there. Let's clear off that road. Looks good. Looks good. These sentries walking on down. Turberius Circulus. Turberius Circulus. I know you guys want to see the cat, but she's gone ahead and jumped into a box in the corner over on that side of the room, and... <laughs> uh, she, she's not very, uh, not much of a camera cat, I think. Okay. Okay, the, the, the traders sort of pop in and out. Now... Let's see. If I put a granary down here, would it actually mess things up? It might actually. Like, if I wanted to feed this area, I kind of need, like, the granary to be here. What's our current employment? 2% unemployment? Okay, that's not so great. 
I suppose I could just, uh, pop a gatehouse somewhere here. Like, put a gatehouse right at the tip of the banana there. Have this road sort of extend outwards. And I'm going to need... Like, some houses there. An engineer's post there. And then... I'm gonna need a set of warehouses. Probably should just break... No, no, don't... Can't break that road connection. Break that road connection. I'm gonna need a granary. Right here, I think. We could put some room there. Granary here, which is gonna be set to getting wheat. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the roadless transport technique with four warehouses all set to getting all set to get see now she wants to go out hold on hold on let's set all these warehouses to getting so that they can go ahead and get the wheat without a road connection there we go there we go Okay, I'll be right back. Just hold on. Hold on. Ah. Ah. And that's all she wants. There we go. She popped in, now she's gone. <laughs> Get the weed? What? What did I say that sounds like that? All right, well, that's gonna be the food industry for the banana block. We're gonna be able to feed the banana block quite easily. This block is a bit more complicated, so I will be just putting down a granary, like right there, right at the top of the apple. Granary right at the top of the apple, supplies food for this whole thing, sounds good. Uh, you know, we could probably get away with feeding two types of food here. If I get rid of that, no, get rid of that. Let's go. Yeah, let's just go two granaries. Let, let's go straight into two types of food. It's gonna be wheat and vegetables. Right? And to make sure nothing falls apart, we're gonna double up or just add in more engineers' posts because of the roads are gonna mess things up there. You usually don't let Kali in because of wires and gears, right? Yeah, and boxes and stacked up stuff and all sorts of things. Uh, <laughs> I usually keep the door closed. Uh, so. Um, I have to open it up if she comes in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, like, do that and that. Get- Oh, oh, first invasion! First invasion! Let's see if we can handle it. Barbarians attack. We do have a blessing from Mars, by the way. Now, let me just clear that off, clear that off, and put that. They're immediately shooting, so they are down there. That's what I suspected. Let's get you- out the door. Let's get you out the door. It is, yeah, it was August. I, sh I should have been looking at the date, but that's, nope, that's the wrong way, but that's fine. Get you in front there. Uh, get you out the door too. And on the back of this, do just keep getting more legionaries. Uh, do I just want to keep this in a straight line or do I want to I'll keep it in a straight line. So let's break this road here. And let's go ahead and put Fort Legionaries like that. Must build on clear land. Oh, please don't glitch out. I hope that's not glitched out. Anyway, these guys look different. Douglas the Cruncher, Gaulish Warriors, Strong Arm, Charles the Mysterious, Edward the Loud, Wayne of Call, and No Beard are all here attacking my city. These uh, towers will take out some of them. 
There's actually not too many. We're actually perfectly fine, by the way. We're perf oh, no, no, more's coming. Look at this. Wayne of Call, Douglas the Cruncher, Edward the Loud. It's a si they have the same names. They have the same names. Uh, uh, they're not, not very creative people. They keep calling each other the same things. Douglas, Douglas, Douglas. How are you, Douglas? Douglas, okay. Douglas. And they're all from the same place, too. Oh, we actually forced, like, a little legion to, to run away. Okay, they're coming for the tower straight up. Oh, no, 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 they're gonna back out a bit. Alright, let's start. Oh, there's the Spirit of Mars. Killed some of them, okay. Now let's the, let the javelins take the shots here. These guys. Oh, oh, oh. These towers did work. Good thing I got six. Any survivors? Greybeard, Warlock the Wrinkled, and John the Pain. Manage to get out. Ooh, maybe we'll get one more. Ah, uh, no. Those three escape. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Our legions didn't even make it. <laughs> Everyone go back home. Quite daring. Look at them. Ooh, quite daring. Legions made it there. Okay. Probably should just wall this up a bit more, right? Probably. But uh, we've got money. Look at that. We're now. Oh, please don't. Okay, that was in glitch Uh Let's get. You know. Let's go ahead and get uh, Fort Legionnaires. And let's get one Fort of Mounted Auxiliaries. That will allow us to very quickly respond to any sort of threat. Let's hook that road back up because these towers will stop functioning if I don't. Okay, that looks good. Vegetables are stocking up. Fantastic farm. Let's get one more vegetable farm here. Yeah, just speed that along a bit. Uh, pottery is doing fine. We're now grabbing all this food over, which is going to go into this granary, which is going to be great. Uh, yeah, and I think that's that's pretty good, right? That's uh, I probably want to like just tower up here a bit more. Come on, get out of the way. Yeah, that looks good. Towers there are probably going to be fine. That's good. This bridge also speeds up our troop response to get to this side as well. Okay, so we're going to have maximum soldiers here. Our exports are doing well. Are you buying weapons? That would be good. Oh, buying iron. Okay, that's good too. There we go. Buying some weapons. Fantastic. Money is coming back in. Looks good. Banana block's gonna be fed. And once we feed one block, we're gonna get a bunch more people, which will fix our employment problem. It's good. It's good. Mm. Blair Stir has to go to work. No problem. Hope you enjoyed what we've done so far. This, this original apple block is not looking all that great, but... <laughs> It's a testament to how simple, like, it's it's like a symbolic apple. Over here is more of a realistic apple, right? This, this looks cool, though. Again, thank you, Kenny64. <laughs> uh, so six towers is probably enough. We could actually just extend it to have more. If we extend it out, like, a bit more there and a bit more there. I'm most concerned about this side because it's the furthest from the troops. One, two. One, two. You gotta get a road up to each of those. Using a bit of the forest to our advantage here. Protect those towers, protect these towers. A couple extra towers right on the end should be able to help shoot things a bit better. Good, good. Uh, seems like wolves aren't coming back. I don't know where that last pack of wolves came from. That was kind of strange, wasn't it? That road looks a bit short. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, and we can uh, just focus on building up our population. Do we want to boost up any of this? Probably. Uh, but I wanted to get a reservoir, like, right here, I think. Right? It needs to go there. That's a little... I can't... Maybe like this? And then the aqueduct comes... 
It's gonna have to go through that house, unfortunately. Let's destroy that house, move the house there. And then there's just about a nice gap there. Okay. Oh, look at all that money that just came in. So now, we can actually... Can, can a fountain reach, like, over there? I think we might be able to just about reach that house. Yeah, good, good. We can fountain up... Here as well. Fountain up... Uh, here. One, two, three, four. Fountain there. Fountain... One, two, three, four. I'm trying to maximize the amount of coverage I have here. That should cover those houses too, yes? That's covering those. Okay, does that actually cover all the houses we have right now? It does, actually. Look at that. Uh, yeah. There we go. We've now fountained that up. <laughs> now, is the food arriving here? The food has arrived here. Look at that. You gotta, uh, these warehouses will keep up to four units. Above four units, the granary will take it. Okay, so now we can start feeding these people. Let's go market. We're just gonna pop a market down there and pop a market down here and pop a market down there. Three markets, very quickly feed up all of these houses. Let's uh, fill the, the middle of the house, house area there. Looks good. Um, and you know, Let's plaza up the banana. I mean, we're gonna have to, right? Yeah. But we can leave the, the stems unplazaed. There we go. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, what else can we do? I'd love to plaza this up, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll focus on raising our population first. Uh, we are gonna need one more warehouse down this side, set to getting pottery and furniture, which there is plenty to go around. Go ahead and grab some pottery. We could of course set up more pottery industries everywhere, but uh, I don't think we have to. Then let's start feeding the banana block. JS said, Zack Fountain 1, Zack Fountain 1. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a fountain emote, but Zack Plaza, very much an emote. Mm. Hurricane BR says, I hope you guys have a great day. Normally, I don't have much time to watch Game Zack live, but I always do afterwards on YouTube. See you all. Thank you so much, Hurricane BR, for dropping by. Brazil, it's very early in the morning nowadays, so you're probably going to work. Thank you so much for dropping by. And again, thank you for the bits earlier. It really, really does help. Meanwhile, all this food is being distributed now. All these houses should... right? There's some food there. There's some food there. No food made it in there, but the first feeding is always going to be the hardest one. There we go. Evolving these houses very nicely. Yes, yes. Do we have a source of marble on this map? Yeah, we can import marble. I should, uh, I should have a warehouse for that. We're gonna need oracles for the pineapple block. <laughs> the pineapple. What do these need now? No entertainment? Okay. Oh, we have enough vegetables. Let's send those off. Okay. Entertainment, we can put down. Uh, hmm. Let's try to be a little efficient with things here. Theater. Uh, we can also start taxing these people, so let's drop down a forum. Uh, we're gonna need an actor colony. Can I just shift this road over? Make a bit more room for outside services here. 
Uh, we're gonna need Acta Colony. Get that going. That'll give some entertainment, no basic education. Let's pop down a school. Schools are gonna be a little tricky, so I guess I'll just put two schools like there and... How do I wanna put schools down? I don't know if one, one school... Actually, one school should cover all these houses. Unless all the kids run the same way as they always do. <laughs> Come on! Um, let's see. Do I need this fountain? I kind of do. Unless there's a fountain there instead. That should be okay because that's a 2x2. Two two. Oh, it's actually fine. Okay. Let's try put the school here instead. Get rid of that. Come on, we just need one kid to run up, one kid to run down, and then it's gonna be fine, right? What map is this? This is Lutetia. Okay, there we go. One kid runs this way, evolves those houses quite nicely, fantastic. So the first feeding's been done. Let's replace that house. These are all now small casas. Uh, we're gonna just leave that at getting pottery for now. More foods being grabbed. I uh, could probably speed it up a little bit with a couple more warehouses. Uh, let's set two more to getting wheat, just to bring down even more food down this way. This is probably not the most efficient way of doing things, but I like showing off this technique once in a while. It just, it just helps. The first feeding is always a bit difficult. That market still has plenty of food though. There we go, some potteries come down, which means some of these market ladies are going to be getting pottery. Ooh, next invasion. Next invasion, let's see, let's see. Where are they coming from? Down here again? Okay, okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to get down there in time, but... Let's give all these commands. Yeah, we can give them one when paused. You are just gonna step behind first. This is why we need the the auxiliary mounted. Wait, it is here, right? Oh no, it's there. Wait, the, the game lied to me. The game lied to me. What is this? They're coming from here. Okay, let's uh, shift you guys over there then. What? Why, why did it send my camera down that way? Uh, you. Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright. Goals again. Charles the Mysterious is back. Now we should be able to get our troops there in time. Let's, uh... I could... Fit another tower on the end there. I could probably fit another tower on the end here. Right. Tower. Like that. Another couple towers. Just to boost up defenses on this side. Should be good. Oh, that's a pretty big invasion. But if we get all of our troops over, it actually should be okay. Come on. It's like three, three to four, no, it's four. Four groups there. We've got these swordsmen and these, what are they? Are they just like guys? What are they holding? Like clubs, maces? Oh wait, did I? The stallions. Wait, which ones are? Wait, where's our, did I? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were all here. Well, rush on up, I guess. These towers will help a lot, though. I accidentally... <laughs> I didn't move my javelins up this way. Okay, you guys gotta intercept them there, please. Make sure they don't touch the wall. That would be important. 
tower guards, sentries still doing their job. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Ah, they're running away. Fantastic. Survivors, Wayne of Call, Steve the Capitulator, the famous, and Diffid the Lesser. Ah, oh, Diffid, why are you the Lesser? What you do? Alright, held him off. Held him off. Uh, with one javelin for going the wrong way. It's okay. There we go. Lots of times, lots of times. Uh, we can continue towering up this side, too. One, two. Like that. We just extend that a little bit as well. Like that. Okay. That should be enough towers on this side. Yeah? Okay. Ah. Oh. Pottery's in. Are these... No access to a local bathhouse, of course. We're gonna need to put down... There? Here. We'll see if... We'll probably need two, right? Just in case. City needs more workers. How many are we short by? 105. Jeez. Okay, well let's solve that problem by... Filling this up with houses. Uh, yeah, we want all of this filled up. All of this filled up. Like that, up to there. Yeah, up to here. Looks good. That should bring in all the people we need. Fountain, okay, we're gonna need a couple fountains here too. Like there, and there, and there. Why'd you move out? Desirability, really. <laughs> you know, let's plaza the, the inner, the inner layer here. Oh, we could do that with the seeds, would you look at that? Ah, we never get to do this. Two by two plazas. Let's plaza this up. We'll just line. Should we just plaza the whole middle? Let's plaza the whole core of the apple. Yeah. There we go. The core and seeds are now plazaed up. Ah. Look at this apple block. It's crazy. <laughs> it's actually functioning. But all that should solve that. Very good. Now, we probably don't need two of those farms anymore. We'll just leave one going to stock up. Food, uh, this is some entertainment, but not enough. Doesn't have access to local bathhouse. Yeah, we gotta sort out this bathhouse problem. But I kind of want to put an amphitheater there. Right? So I can put a gladiator school down. Like that. I don't want to, uh, f like, evolve... them too much. Oh, there we go. We've reached 2,000 people. We gotta check the gods. You guys gotta use the Zack gods emote a lot more. I keep forgetting. Alright. They are all displeased. So it's time to temple up here. Um, so I want to fill the middle with as many services as possible. So like, uh, How do I want to do this? Ceres. Neptune. Mercury. Mars. Venus. So you can see I'm filling the core with yellow buildings and then the houses are sort of on the outside, which doesn't really make sense because technically the whole inside of a whole inside of a <laughs> uh, apple is pretty yellow. Um, not education. Uh, you guys are saying disease. City health is average, actually. And actually, we kind of want to keep city health at average, so old people die. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. 
Um, because if city health is too good, um, we get a lot of old people not working in the city, which is not good. These need desirability. So let's just garden it up. Yeah, there we go. Um, we could put a medium statue right here. Couple gardens on the back of the market, no problem. There we go. How's the food supply? Pottery supply is in. Food pottery, food pottery. Okay, that's all looking good. Uh, still grabbing more pottery from here, but I think uh, we should be good to go with setting this to also getting furniture. How's our employment? Unemployment of 3%. All of these should be moving in quite nicely. Okay, that's good. Anything gonna collapse? No, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. So as these people move in, that's gonna allow us uh, enough population for another... Well, actually, we could probably just... Uh... Oh, we're actually sort of low on wheat. We kind of need another wheat farm, I think. Maybe a couple more wheat farms? On the pear block? <laughs> the pear farming block? Oh, and we are maxed out on towers as well. You know, just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and put a tower there as well. Looks nice. So we've got all the towers we need. Yes. So military, we should be pretty set. Uh, we could probably... They're all pleased. You know, let's hold a festival to Mars. See if we can get a blessing. Military will be filling out here. Legions are almost filled. Javelins to auxiliaries one. Okay. Uh, auxiliary mounted, anyway, is one. Okay. How do I want to do the rest of this? Uh, statues are... Yeah, I gotta fill this up with services. So let's just go ahead and fill it up with some services, yeah? Put a couple forums down? I don't know. How do we, how do we tax a block like this? Um... <laughs> uh, like forum, forum, forum. Now maybe there instead, not there. That kind of looks. Like, uh, so maybe, maybe two forums like that. At least get some tax collectors going. Yeah. Okay, so now we got to fill this up with food. How do I? What block do I draw here for more farms? Am I sure about putting gardens right behind the market? Yeah, it should be fine. It doesn't connect up to a road, so it's fine. Are we actually still low on food here? We are. We just need more wheat. We're actually eating all the wheat. Ah. Need a relief force, huh? 24 months? Okay. Oh, it's Sirocco. Let's uh, fill this up, shall we? Get all that going. We're actually short on food. This banana block is eating a lot more than I expected. <laughs> um, ah, surprisingly, that, that's taking up a lot of food. How's employment? 9%, okay. So what do I draw here? We're gonna need another block for farms to feed this half apple block. Full detailed pomegranate block? That's a little tricky. It's a little tricky. Uh, hmm. Maybe set a gate between the granary and the apple city. You know, with the roads like this, it doesn't actually matter all that much. <laughs> it's already inefficient, so... But I do need this apple to connect to something. You know, because the road can easily just extend out here. As sort of like a branch. Which is holding this apple up. And to make it look a bit more realistic, I'll actually notch the road over like that. 
So it does actually turn, but you can't see it. <laughs> so it looks like uh, the, the, the stem of the apple is just continuing, but the stem has to connect to... You know what? We could actually make this look like a branch. Now, it's not technically a fruit. One, two, three. One, two, three. We could just have, like... Like, let's say there's a tree branch here. One, two, three. Yeah, so it'll be like, just sort of be... Actually, we don't need this road. So let's say this apple is actually just connected to a branch. And this is just gonna be like a straight line sort of thing. Um... Right, that makes sense? So the apple is now connected to this branch? <laughs> okay, so now we do need to sort of make sure there's employment everywhere. House. 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 Engineer's post. Engineer's post. Farm. Wheat. One, two, three, four. Farm vegetables. One, two. That road has to do that. No problem. Three, four. Four farms, each type of food. We're gonna straight up start by feeding them four, uh, two different types of food. We're probably gonna need more than that, but farm vegetables, maybe another two there. Maybe six farms each. Wheat. Yeah. Looks good. Looks good. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Ah, out of coffee. And that is probably going to be a pretty good place to bring this part to a close. We are now feeding our people. Is the food supply here keeping up? It is keeping up, but uh, I think the way they have to walk around this is a little inefficient. I think I'm going to get rid of that farm and just put like two farms like that. So that way these card pushers don't have to walk around. They can just walk straight there, which is going to be quicker, right? Which way were they going before? Is that the pottery guy? Oh, look at that. Food has actually stabilized. <laughs> Food has actually stabilized. I think I... Hmm. I think I do need to have one more warehouse here. Set this to just pottery, right? It's the responsible thing to do. Shift that road over. This is getting furniture. There we go. Separate the furniture and the pottery. Okay, good. Um, ideally, actually, this should be pottery. And that should be furniture. Can I set this to empty? Set this to getting furniture. This to getting... Wheat. This to getting wheat as well. Set this to empty and this to getting pottery. That way the market ladies don't have to walk so far for the pottery and the furniture. Makes sense? Makes sense. We just gotta wait for, for the walkers to come back and it should be fine. Yeah, that should be good. That should be good. Just make furniture local. Yeah, I could, but I don't want to. <laughs> anyway, this is looking pretty good. We've got this sort of symbolic apple block here, the lemon and pear block over here. We've got this very detailed sort of apple cut in half attached to a branch. It's sort of like a little diagram of apples, of, of an apple. It's pretty cool. Uh, the banana block has been fixed up and now has multiple uh, skin peel layers there. Uh, this little gun block 
imagine it's it's a banana, okay? That is an ambiguous fruit wedge for now. We could probably make it look like a melon pretty soon. And also we have fleshed out our military, put a bunch of towers in and reached 3,000 people. Reached 3,000 people. And before I forget, I should probably... A small force will attack. You know what? Let's send uh, Prima Legion. The fish. So that's Javelin, Legionnaires, and we'll send... We'll send another. We'll send the rabbits as well. We'll send Prima Legion, the rabbits, and the fish off to Empire Service. Dispatch that, please. Off they go. There we go. Your Legion marching to relieve a city of the Empire. Taraco, I think it was, down here. Or is it Toledo? There's the enemy army. I thought it was, it was Turaco, right? I think it was Turaco. I think it was Turaco. And yeah, that is a lot of progress. We are going towards 10,000 people, but... Uh, but uh, I, think, I think we're doing pretty good, right? I think it's doing okay. And look at that, we're actually gonna feed this block with two types of food. These are gonna be like grand insulators, they'll look fantastic. Ah, uh, anyway, I think that's a good place to end part two of Lutetia. And yeah, we'll keep on going in part three. All right, so that's the end of part two for Lutetia and Caesar three. Uh, we're going to be moving on to part three. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can click the button on the screen right now. And it's going to bring you to the next part where we are going to try get some villas. We can import wine and stuff like that. But overall, the fruit blocks are looking pretty good, pretty decent. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.